What's up guys, scuba guy here. So today I'm on one of my usual beaches and uh, sad to see that the shark nets, shark prevention nets have been damaged in the last typhoon we had here. Um, but that could be a good thing because everybody that's usually on this beach has now moved to another beach. So it's very heavily concentrated today with swimmers and beachgoers. So maybe next weekend I will hit the other beach. Um, but today I've got this whole beach to myself. I can still be on the sand according to the lifeguards, but I cannot be in the water because the shark net has been ripped open. Um, so I'm gonna literally spend the day cleaning this beach for everybody. And hopefully next week it'll be still clean. Um, walking up here, there's so much trash in the sand. It's unbelievable. Um, probably because of the typhoon pushing everything out. But um, who knows what we'll find today. Uh, keep with me to the end of the video and then I'll show you a wrap up. And if you like the video, subscribe. If you enjoyed it, click a like. And I'll catch you guys later. See you soon. Skip your day out. is in a sad state again all this rubbish <sighs> bust my ass makes me cry <laughs> my god I wreck so hard sometimes removing rubbish and still find rubbish so I got a new toy the Equinox 600 um, I was tempted to buy the 800, but the 600 I think is okay for beach use and in the water. Um, it took me a while to get hold of it, but uh, very happy to show I have a new toy. I'm still using the Excalibur, but I'm going to rotate the machines while the Excalibur or the Equinox go out for a service. And uh, today I'm on one of my usual beaches. But uh, sad to see that the last typhoon we had in Hong Kong has damaged the shark nets. Well, this is crazy. <clears throat> last time I was here, there was a big typhoon, and now they've closed the whole beach because of all the sand being washed out. So the beach is closed because the shark net has been damaged, which makes it a bit crazy why they opened that and there's no shark net. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So, and there's an official sign saying that. Say, shark net prevention. Oh well. well, I'm not going in the water today anyway. Big shout out to Gigmaster, who's a very popular YouTube channel guy. Um, I took this new Equinox 600 out uh, to another beach a couple of nights ago, and I had really bad trouble using it because. I have my phone switched on. Gigmaster put a tip in one of his most recent videos saying switch off your phone or put it in airplane mode because it causes lots of interference to this machine. I've done that. I'm not getting any interference. It's amazing. <laughs> I used to have my phone it's in my pocket so close and switched on and I couldn't understand why I was getting so much interference. Guys, switch off your phone when you're detecting. You're listening to targets anyway, so why, why worry about your phone? Anyway, let's see how we do. First target, two dollar coin, money in the bank. Happy days. And again, another drugs bottle. This is definitely one that's been used on the beach. This, and this has come from China. Guys, why do you keep doing this? This is not acceptable. And a tiny little silver heart earring. Nice. It's the first silver target with the Equinox. Came in as a 20. So, nice find. Some K 
charging. Looks like a bit of bling, guys. Rang up, rang up around um, 14, 15. 15. Not real, but a bit of a heart stopper when you see the glitter in the sand like that. Well, another ring, guys. This rung in very low at five, but I think it's a fake. It's very light. It says Michael Kors on there. And uh, looks like there's paint coming off of it. In that area. So, unfortunately, this looks like a junk ring. Oh, I've just got a big, heavy silver ring. It's been in the sand for a long time. It's very dirty. It's definitely silver. At least I think it is. Put it back in the hole. It's a good Okay, minus 18, 19. Somebody's obviously thrown in the sea, it's floating because it's sealed, and it ends up on a beach. And then, like, somebody will run along and they will step on this and they will cut their foot up like crazy. And they'll get a serious infection. I had a friend of mine in Hong Kong who had his foot really badly infected, and unfortunately, he didn't go to the doctor in time. And he just got a cut from standing on the nail on the beach had his foot amputated because of this, because of things like this, with people throwing rubbish in the beach. So that is going in the bin. Well, okay, so thank if you. somebody stands on that, they'll cut their foot. So. Okay, thank you. No problem. That's my pleasure. <laughs> Just cleaning the beach. Remember guys, fill in your holes, please. All the people that I've met recently, you come to Hong Kong, metal detecting. You didn't fill in your holes. Make sure you do. Another ring. Unfortunately, it turns out a big copper, copper ring. Gold plated. Yeah, that's what it did. Another target. That came in around 1920. Let's just check it again. 19. on this page. It's just everywhere. Rubbish after rubbish after rubbish. So time for a wrap up. So we got the usual rubbish, bottle lids, ring pulls, lots of different junk metal. And in total, I got around $210 in coins. So that was a good, uh, successful hunt. That paid for my travel expenses. Usual ring pulls. And we got five junk rings. It was two copper, one stainless steel. That was a nice one. And that was a gold-plated ring. And that was actually a pewter ring. Not a silver ring. It was quite heavy. So, all in all, it was a very successful hunt. And as always, the rubbish I find goes in the bin. Where it should be. 